Hi, this is Jeannie Patel Thompson from ListenToYourFreedom.com. I got a question in from someone who wants to add a slideshow to the homepage of their blog. So they basically want to have, um, you know, say this section here be a series of images that change. So I found, I went through a couple, well, more than a couple. I looked at a lot of the free ones, trying to find a free one for you guys. And this one, Meta Slider, looked to be the best of what I've seen so far. So I went ahead and um, I've installed it on my blog. And if you don't know how to install, it's super quick. You come here to Plugins, okay, you click on Add New. You would type in here, Meta Slider. You have it search the plugins. It said, now it says here I've already installed it, but if I didn't, it would say install now, and you click on install now, and then it would go to another page that said it's installed, and it would have a link to click to say activate now, and you activate it now, and then it would look like this. Okay, so there's MetaSlider, and you can see that it's activated because the only other option for me is to deactivate. And here it is down here, MetaSlider Lite. So I come here. Now, the important thing to know about this product is um, on their demo page, they give you a lot of different um, options for different kinds of um, sliders. So you can have one with photos, or you can add videos. And the important thing to know about this plugin is if you want the video, you have to upgrade to the pro version and you can see the price for that here. So it's, I believe it's a one-time fee. They don't charge you yearly. So that's not a bad price, but I don't really need a video one on this site. I just need the text. So I've added some photos here and the way you add it is very simple. You go to add slide, you come here, you can either select photos that you have in here or you can upload a file. So let's say I go here. Let's say I wanted to add, um, oh, I don't know, I'll add this one. It's not, a, it's not a horse, but it'll just show you how it works. It uploads it here. This is actually, I think, a really big image that I chose. And then here you have a chance to, what size do you want it? But because you're doing a slideshow, you wanna pick full size. Okay, and then you just click Add to Slide Bar or yeah, add to slider, and there it is. Okay, now if you wanted to put a caption on here, you could put um, sail away with me, and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like. Now on your slideshow, if you wanted to have it link somewhere, so let's say I want this to link to um, my art site. Oh, not four W's. Listen to your passions.com. So now, and this is if I, yeah, I do want that to open up in a new window because I don't want somebody to leave this blog when they go to this URL, okay? So that's just a quick way of how to do that. And then you click Save and Preview. This gives you a chance to look at it. So here we go, and I've chosen one that just changes automatically. Now see what's happening with this slide? So these are all okay where they're cropping my photos. I'm okay with that. Um, I bet you this is going to be the, the big one I just uploaded. It's taking a really long time to upload. Where are you? Oh no, it's probably because I moved my cursor on there so it stopped it auto. There. And there's my caption, sail away with me. But you see how it's, it's selecting up here. Now that's my big beef with this plugin. Um, I haven't been able to find a place here. Now you can do something called smart crop and I'll show you what that looks like. They crop it for you, they close crop. So this one, it, it, they basically crop it tighter so that less of your image shows if you select smart crop. I wish they had a way that I could select the crop myself right in here, but I haven't. See, normally you could select here and then crop it, but here they're just giving you the option to delete. And that's the one thing I don't like about this plugin, but I think if you want to get something where you can edit right on here, you're going to have to pay, probably have to pay for it. So anyway, the way around that is to go and take this image. And now that I know, I know it's selecting the top part of every slide. Okay. So 
well, probably about from here to here. So kind of top middle-ish is where they're selecting. So I would just go and I would crop this photo myself and maybe I would crop it to here. And that would guarantee that they would get the heads of the horses in. So that's your way to do it. And then when you're done, you can call it something here instead of new slider. I'll call it horse one. Okay. And then I just click save. So there's a couple of other great things about this um, meta slider. And what you can do is here you get to pick the type of slider that you want. So the one that we looked at was flex slider, but you can try out each of these and you just select it and then you save and preview and it'll give you a chance to have a look at, you know, the different effects that can be added to the different slides. And then you can choose the one you want. So you see how different they can look. Now, whichever one you choose, it doesn't matter. So if I say, no, I really like the flex slider, I'm going back there, no problem. You just save it again. You don't, it, you don't lose anything that you've already set up. Another interesting thing that you can use is um, the effects. So right now I have it set to fade. So the, the slideshow photos just fade from one to the other. But as you can see, there's actually a bunch of them that you can choose. Now here's again. You can't get these unless you go to the pro version. So you, your only choices are slide and fade. So let's have a look at what slide does. There we go. It just slides it to the left. Okay, and if you want the other ones, you have to upgrade to the pro. And then the one last thing that I want to show you, oh yeah, these themes. They have different um, boxes that you can put around the slideshow. But again, you only get these if you upgrade. But I have to say, personally, I like the default theme better anyway. So that is really no big loss. But there's, you know, so don't be afraid. Like I said, play around with stuff. Um, try stuff. You want to do carousel mode, which is basically they have them as squares like this, but lined up horizontally. You can have them so they randomly select your images. Um, don't be afraid to play around and really give things a try. And there we go. Now my, my slideshow is um, completely ready to go and I can install that onto the home page of my site. Uh, this is the question. Oh, here we go. Here's how you put it on your page. You just copy this. This is your code that will put it onto your page of your home site. So I have a really crappy <laughs> home page on this site. I'm going to show it to you actually. Okay, so this is what my really crappy home page looks like right now because I haven't set the site up yet and I haven't set the design or anything. All I did is threw a couple of videos up on here, but now you can see what it looks like. So now I'm going to go back to here. I've grabbed my code. Now I'm not sure why they're saying template include. I'm not sure what that looks like, but again, like this is the thing you have to get um, familiar with. If you have an internet based site, you have to get comfortable playing with things and don't expect everything to work out the first time. Don't expect everything to just be, oh, I did this, I did that, and then it was fine. So now I'm here. If I was in visual, you can't paste code when you're in visual mode. You have to go to text mode here. So I go to text mode, and I'll say, okay, I want it right at the top before anything. So I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to update that page. And then I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to view page. Okay, so that's where it's put it. It's put it right there at the top. See, and it's scrolling through. So now um, the fact of where this is positioned and if I want it across my whole screen are things that I have to play with once I have this set up properly. Okay, so, but that's just a brief way how to go about it. And then from there, like I said, you've got to be comfortable with playing around with it. You've got to say, well, now that's not big enough. How do I get it bigger? So I'm going to go and see if I can do that right now. So here we go. Here's the size. 
So that's the width, 565, and that's the height. So I want to increase that. Um, so let's add, hmm, let's see what happens if we add 100 pixels to each, because that's an easy way to keep track of it. I've just added 100. Okay, I'm going to save that. Now is my code still the same? Yeah, my code is still the same. So I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to reload the home page. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, it's gotten bigger. So I'm like, that's nicer, but I would like it to be wider. I kind of want it to go all the way across my page. So I go back to my meta slider. And I go, well, what happens if I put the width? at 8.85. I'm kind of okay with the height, I think, but I don't know until I try. So let's save it. It's saved. Let's go back. It's on my boats page now. Reload it. Aha! Now we're talking, hey? That's getting almost where I want it. Now, because I don't have my page set up, I'm not going to play with this Oh, yes, I am. I am going to play with it because I actually want to get it to here. So let's go back here. I'm going to go for 900 because let's see if that works. And reload. Yeah, that's almost there. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go, okay, let's go 950. You see how I'm okay with this? You see how I'm not stressing? I'm just going, oh, try a little bit of this, try a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, are we perfect or what? Okay, so there. Doesn't this crappy site look better already? Of course, now I have to get rid of all this stuff here that's showing up. But anyway, that looks way better. It's a much better start. And I just know that, okay, I need to resize this image and delete the boat image, and then this slideshow will be set. And of course, people can click through it on their own, or they can wait for it to um, switch. So there you go. Meta Slider, not that one, this one. It's a free um, WordPress plugin.